G'day team, Jeremy Whitney sitting here in beautiful Bali and issuing you a challenge. How would you like to be a spy? Bali is one of the countries in the world where the average person lives on less than $2 a day. There's another 5 or 6 billion people living in countries in Southern America, Southeast Asia and all around the, all around the world where there's billions and billions and billions of people living on less than $2 a day. Of course we have the Tea Party movement and we know about all these people, the 1% who control most of the world's wealth. Now, I'm issuing a challenge for you to be a spy because you can go down and have the Tea Party big um, protests and, and stand there and occupy Wall Street and this sort of stuff. And yeah, you get 100,000 people down there protesting and saying, OK, let's kill these people, let's take their money or let's bring equality in. Do you really want to live in a communist society? If you do, jump up and move to China didn't work for the Russians over, over the last hundred years. So capitalism might not be a perfect system, it's just the best system we've got at the moment. So instead of overthrowing the 1%, why don't you just go and spy on them? That's what I'm wanting you to do. The best way for you to actually make this system equal is for you to step out. Don't go to the protest meetings. Go to the meetings where the 1% sit around and gather. Go to where these the billionaires and the millionaires exchange their ideas. Find out what you can hang around with these people, say, hey, I want to be just like you. Don't be a threat to them and say, I want to kill you, I want to overthrow you, take all your money and distribute it to the poor. Walk in there and say, hey, I want to learn. I want to be just like you. Then you can actually get in there, you can spy on them, you can find out their ideas, you can use them for yourself. If you want to sit down with a millionaire or a billionaire, find out how they made their wealth, and then create billions of dollars for yourself, if you then want to give your money away, that's entirely your business. You're not stealing cash from anybody else to try and give it to the poor. You're actually giving from your own abundance. An uh, interesting illustration is looking at what's happened with the Aboriginals in Australia. Of course, there was millions of Aboriginals all over the continent when the British turned up and the British got into a fight over there's not enough resources, there's not enough land, there's not enough food, so we're going to fight with these guys. And, of course, the Aboriginals having primitive weapons were mostly wiped out except for the ones who were right out in the desert. Now how come the British with their superior guns and their superior technology couldn't go into the desert and wipe out these Aboriginal people? Because the moment the British walked in all they saw was desert. Aboriginal person sitting in the middle of the desert, they see abundance, they see food, they see water. You've got to dig for it, you've got to find it, but all it takes is an idea to change that. There's still Aboriginals living in the desert because they can live there for weeks and weeks and weeks without carrying around supplies, whereas the English person would have to carry all their supplies with them to go in the desert, and they couldn't carry enough water so they'd be dead within a week. If one of the English pe people went into the Aboriginal camp and decided to spy on them, decided to live as one of them and say, hey, I want to be just like you, then that English person could find out where to dig for water, where to find food, which plants to eat, which plants are poisonous, and by spying on them, they would actually discover there is an abundance. There's no need to fight with these people. They're not actually your enemy. Once you start to find out how you can live like them, then sure, you can find enough food for yourself, you can find enough resources for yourself and for your entire family. So my challenge to you today is learn to be a spy, spy on the 1%, blend in with them, secret, you know, I wish I could cue the, the Mission Impossible music or something like that. Get on the inside, find out what they know, discover the ideas, and create wealth for yourself, then you can decide whether you want to make the world a better place by giving it away or whether you want to continue to be one of the percent, one of the one percent. That's entirely up to you. Don't try and overthrow the system. Become part of the system and bring it down from the inside. Talk to you soon.